Bro, it's hot there. Mug in here today. It's like 97 degrees outside. Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Air Jordan 1 High Royals 2017 edition. I wasn't able to get the 2013 pair. I really don't like the 2013 pair, in my opinion. I feel like the 2017 pair is just 10 times better. The Royal Blue is just darker. It doesn't look faded as on the 2013 pair. It could be because the sneaker is old as hell. I don't know, but. Let's get straight into the sneaker review. Retail 160. Retail was 160. This was back before they raised the price to 170 plus tax. But um, starting off with the right shoe. Here we go. We have the Air Jordan 1 Royal Blues. And just looking at these bad boys, you know, like it's just heat. This pair is actually used, but it's very near dead stock. As you can see, there's really no, not any flaws on this sneaker. But right here on this sneaker, it does have like a little bit of glitter. And that's just from like the shoe aging and being in a sneaker box with the paper for a long period of time. I don't know what it is, but it's just something about the Jordan 1s, uh, this like color blocking that they got going on with it. I just like the black around this part that goes up to the toe area and then just one solid color right there and then the solid color on the toe box. The 2020 Pine Greens are actually the same color blocking as these and that's honestly probably why I ended up getting the Pine Green 2020s. But um, the second thing I noticed after pulling these out the box is just the quality of the sneaker. like. As you can see, like, it's just really soft. Like, the leather quality on this pair is just super good compared to the 2020 uh, Air Jordan ones that released. Uh, the quality is a little bit stiffer, but with these 2017 pair, like, you can tell they put a lot of more effort into these with the tumble leather right here. They just, they just did their thing with these. I'm currently in the process of trying to get all the color blocking Jordan ones like these, like Cabretto's, the Air Jordan 1 Shadows, and, um, I think there's a couple more. There's a few more. I forget the names of them. I think they're called the Crimson Tints, Shadows, the Breads, the Royals. I got these. I got the Pine Greens. I can't remember the other one. If there's another one, let me know in the description below. I can't think of it right now, but I'm definitely trying to get all those for my uh, sneaker collection. This is the second pair of Air Jordan ones that I actually do have in my sneaker collection. You know, I'm just starting to become a huge fan of Air Jordan ones. They just look amazing on feet, in my opinion, and you know, just some stacked denim. Wear them loose. Where I'm loose like this a little bit, and you know, that's a fit right there. And just throwing a decent hoodie or a tee, you're good. The lady's gonna be hitting you up, I'm telling you. <laughs> but um, I know you guys are ready to see me put these on feet. I will be putting these on feet today because these are my size. I know in the last video that I posted with the Adidas basketball sneakers, I didn't put those on feet. That was only because I ended up getting a size 11 and a half and I wear a size 10 and a half. But these are 10 and a half. So I will be doing it on feet for you guys. Let's get into a more detailed look at the Air Jordan 1 Royals. I'll be getting to the on feet for you guys. Stay tuned. If you haven't yet, make sure you like this video. It really helps out the channel. And also click that subscribe button because I know you're watching this and half of you watching this are not subscribed. Like, I'm out here grinding. I'm out, like, looking, bro. I'm sweating right now. It's hot. It's 97 degrees out. I did get these used. I got them for a pretty decent price. Way below StockX price. And I do have the OG receipt from Shoe Palace. I got the OG Royal Blue Shoe Strings. And you know, you know the vibes, man. You know the vibes. Come on, man. All right, so starting at the bottom of the sneaker, we have the Royal Blue with the Nike swoosh in the middle. Uh, just the normal Air Jordan 1 bottoms as seen on every pair of Jordan 1s. Just a normal bottom, just different color. Going to the midsole, we have the white lining all the way across the shoe. From there to the toe box, we have just the, the Royal Blue with the tumbled leather. Great quality in my opinion. Um, better than 2020 pairs that released. I don't know how it's compared to the shattered backboards. I, I don't know if those actually came out before these or after these, but you can let me know in the comment section below. I don't know when the shattered backboards released. But from there, we have the black color blocking with the glitter on it. As I told you guys earlier, I do have to clean that off. But going from there, we have the Air Jordan Wings logo with just the black with the royal blue surrounding it. From there, we go to the Nike swoosh just the royal blue going up to the shoe tag this is a hundred percent different from the 2020 shoe tag where this just looks way better than the leather on the sneaker and i'm really rocking with this so that's going to be it for the sneaker review um, so that's going to be it for the sneaker review and so that's going to be pretty much it for the sneaker review there's really not that much to say about this sneaker it's just blue and black but the quality on it is just top notch it's fire in my opinion and i can't wait to put these on feet for you guys stay tuned peace
Magic, Coca-Cola, no, that ain't no boogie. Yeah. Looking at that girl, I 